Hello Northgate family. Welcome to another edition of the vlog. Kind of a different mood and setting on this rainy Thursday with the news of the coronavirus. And if you're like me, I'm getting emails from everybody I ever did business with telling me that uh, it's okay, it's safe, it's clean, you can come do business with us. Well, it's kind of the same message with Northgate and yet um, there is no fear and yet you need to be wise. From Psalm 91, we have a powerful passage that talks about he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge, my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Do you trust in man? Do you trust in situations? Do you trust in God? That's really a critical key. The next few verses are interesting. He will deliver you from the snare of the fowler, fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night nor the arrow that flies by day nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the most high who is my refuge. No evil shall be allowed to befall you, no plague come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands, they will bear you up lest you strike your foot against a stone. Fascinating words. And the absolute core piece of this is that you trust in the Lord. It tells us in 2 Timothy 1.7 that the Lord has not given us a spirit of fear or timidity, but of power, love, and of a sound mind. In other words, your thinking, what goes on in your head, you can panic about life supplies, needs, or you can just trust that God is still God and through thousands of years, His message of redemption, His love. It hasn't changed. He is faithful. He's not scrambling in heaven trying to figure out what to do. He's not panicked. Your trust is in Him. So during this unique point in history where we're experiencing some things that are extreme and they haven't happened perhaps to you or it's very rare when it has happened, trust in the Lord, seek Him, spend time pursuing and getting into His presence. He hasn't given you a spirit of fear, don't let fear consume you, but the presence of the Lord rest upon you. You rest in Him. Seek Him. I want you to know here at Northgate we have and do take this very seriously. Uh, it's, it's hard not to. It's just everywhere you turn you listen. just want to give you four things here that, that I want you to be aware of. We clean our building every week. We do our best to keep a germ-free zone that's why a long time ago, we installed four sanitization stations, one by the water fountain, one directly when you come out of the bathrooms on that wall, and one on each side of the exit when you exit the worship center. They're there, they're working, use them. Shaking hands. I know some of you kind of laughed with me a couple weeks ago when I gave you the little elbow bump. And listen, we want you to come and worship at Northgate and if, right now you're not comfortable shaking hands don't stick your elbow out say hi from a distance it's okay it's important for us to be wise and it's okay some of you uh, maybe are more of a health risk and you just feel like ah, i need to stay home that's okay but we've provided for you we've had this as a resource and i just want to encourage you to take advantage of it that you can worship online. You can go to our website, you can go and you can click into the service on Sunday mornings and you can still participate with the worship and the service right from your home. So during this season where your health or maybe the health of others that you love and are around, it's just can't, 
you can still worship. You can still be a part of the Northgate family. You can do all of your giving online as expenses still exist. Uh, we can't just put those on hold, unfortunately. God will take care of us, but in the same sense, we can do this. We can go forward together. We can be wise and have healthy boundaries, and we can continue to worship together in community. Lastly, just know that uh, if you are feeling sick, please don't put anybody else at risk, even if you don't know or if it's just a, the sniffles. Just give space. Just kind of respect maybe the fear of those who don't know the Lord and give them that space. But again, we love to have you here. We will be here. I will be here. We will have a worship service. But if you can't make it, tune in online. We'd love to have you. Let us know how we can serve you and come alongside of you. And let's continue to seek the Lord in prayer together. Thank you. Mm -hmm.